Hopefully you survived the beginning of this show. May have tweaked your ears a little bit. Got that worked out. We're going to get to the topic of the day. Three aspects we're going to cover right here. Right here on NATV Radio. The show you requested from us two years ago. We're slowly giving it to you. Inch by inch, little by little. You know who you are. A number of you that requested this. We're back. Let's get to it. I'll pull up some stuff for you in just a little bit. We'll talk about narcissistic abuse and a whole lot more. And uh, let me hear. I got to look up here, you guys, because I'm blind as a retired old man. Uh, Dr. Marnie Hill, thank you very much uh, for your love and your kindness and your support and um, your donation that you gave us uh, uh, um, a while back, your books, being on the show. Everybody, grab your copy. Dr. Marnie Hill Fodorero. Google it. When you Google her, it'll be to your benefit. Got a new book coming her way, uh, coming from her, coming your way. Get your hands on it. All right, let's get this show going. Give me a moment or two, and uh, we'll do that. Alrighty, no matter what part of life you're having to deal with, there is, as they say, a light at the end of the tunnel. So we are asking you, please, never give up, no matter what happens. Uh, We're going to discuss a couple of things here. Um, Part of it is uh, from our show notes over the past five years. We've done this before. You've asked us to do it. We've uh, delayed it because of a number of different reasons, and we're going to go ahead and do it again today, share with you some of the things that we've learned from our guests that have been on our shows, over 1,700 shows that we've had in the past five years. Uh, We are also going to share with you some reference material uh, that will be put in the description for this video. So stick around if you can. If not, this is just a resource tool that many of you asked for that you can come back to it and get some information that can help you in your recovery journey. Uh, parental alienation, narcissistic abuse, uh, coercive control, no matter what spectrum of difficulty may be in front of you, we've got a little bit of something for you here at NATV Network. Uh, Emotional flexibility was a subject that was uh, brought to us, and uh, you wanted us to touch on it a little bit more. We're going to do that today, as well as the second item that you can hopefully see on the screen there, uh, mental mobility. Uh, All of these subjects, both of these subjects, I should say, uh, are ones that we're going to delve in right now. But again, the reference material will be there. You won't get our show notes. We keep, we keep those locked up. <laughs> the show notes, we'll share part of them with you. One of these days we'll release them, but uh, hopefully you'll get some benefit. Emotional flexibility involves allowing your emotions to be influenced by considering a different point of view. That can be challenging when you're dealing or having to live with someone who is unhealthy emotionally. Emotional flexibility involves 
taking in new information and allowing that information to shift your understanding of and reaction to your experiences when you're dealing with a narcissistic person or a person who is self-absorbed, haughty, and selfish. We all have an immediate emotional response to many different situations and circumstances to different individuals. And we find ourselves uh, maybe embroiled in something that we wish we hadn't have said or done. Based upon our perception and understanding is how we find ourselves in those situations and circumstances. So when you are able to accept new information or take on a different perspective or a point of view, the world can open up to us. Our experience can be something totally different. Something different than we had previously even considered simply because we made a shift in our understanding and in our perspective, which equals us having a different emotional response. And then we'll be able to demonstrate our emotional flexibility, not becoming so rigid or judgmental to the point that it harms us in different circumstances and situations. That really makes a big shift from us focusing on the narcissist, and now we can focus on our own self-love, self-care, and self-response. Fear, on the other hand, has two parts. It can be a wholesome fear that helps us from sticking our hand in the fire, and we can have an unhealthy fear. So a, a healthy fear may be beneficial. An unhealthy fear can cause us anxiety, unnecessary anxiety. Fear causes us to constrict and hold on tightly to what we perceive as the safe thing to do or response to give. But by discussing it with others, professionals, a therapist, and others, we may find that there is a different perspective and viewpoint we can take that will allow us to have a life of emotional flexibility. Often when talking about doing something while afraid, we use the term, as it were, white-knuckling it, conjuring up and even imagining gripping tightly so that we can, well, feel comfortable in that uncomfortable situation. Fear invites rigidity, that is, unhealthy fear. Limited perspective, limited understanding, limited knowledge, limited discernment and wisdom can cause us to lose sight on what we need to do in the moment. Since fear invites rigidity, which is why rigid thinking and behavior often accompany anxiety, we need to give serious consideration and making sure we have as much of the facts as possible before we respond. Especially when dealing with someone who has a narcissistic, a heavy narcissistic, selfish mindset. Often, a distorted belief about ourself can cause us to respond in a way that can harm us emotionally. It can restrict us and our emotional flexibility. To overcome anxiety stemming from distorted beliefs, it is necessary to identify what that distorted or unbalanced belief is about oneself. Professional help can really make that transition from the distorted belief to an honest, realistic viewpoint of oneself much easier. Doing this requires an openness and a willingness to consider a new understanding of not just yourself, but maybe even your children, maybe even uh, family members. It can help us to have a larger understanding and therefore, we won't put ourselves in danger with a narcissistic person because we'll have a better understanding of what we're dealing with. And we won't get sucked into conversations or situations that are really a waste of our time. It is aided by a willingness to accept and internalize feedback. A constant desire for feedback, healthy feedback from those that are trusted can really help us move away from distorted beliefs about ourselves, uh, distorted beliefs about family members or children, whatever it may be, simply because we were able to bounce it off of someone that was emotionally healthy themselves. When it comes to never giving up, 
you're going to find yourself constantly being pushed to give up. So how can you navigate your life so that you can, well, have emotional flexibility and not throw your hands in the air and say, I give up? Remember what emotional flexibility truly is. It's the ability to manage one's emotions, to manage our emotions and use different strategies to respond to changing circumstances. We're not so rigid that we apply every emotion to every situation. We use our emotions like salt and pepper. We recognize that sometimes a little bit of this and a little bit of that can help us navigate away from a situation dealing with a narcissist. Respond to life's events in a way that depends on the context, not the energy in the moment. When we understand the context of who we're dealing with, as in this case we're talking about a narcissist, then their abuse has no power because we know their ultimate goal is to have control of us and anything that they can. Use different emotional regulation strategies in different situations. Allow new information that you've learned in videos and from narc abuse uh, recovery coaches. Uh, I'll, I'll pick somebody right now. For uh, Dr. Marnie Hill Fadarero, uh, her books, um, individuals you've seen on the show, the more you gather bits of information here and there, the puzzle pieces all start to come together and you know exactly where you stand and what you need to do to maintain emotional flexibility. It's really hard to become very predictable for a narcissist when you, I, us, have emotional flexibility. All new information to change your understanding of a situation and your emotional uh, response, all that new information is going to allow you to be able to enjoy your recovery. You'll constantly have challenges. You'll constantly have different set of circumstances and individuals that will try to press your boundaries. What will you do? What will you do? People with emotional flexibility are less likely to get stuck in negative emotions. And that is exactly what the narcissist would like you to do. Be stuck in negative emotions. Their negative emotions dumped on you. Again, please, people with emotional flexibility are less likely to get stuck in negative emotions and can get rid of them more quickly when they do surface. They also tend to have better relationships and positive connections with others. This is something someone outside of you, the narcissist, a toxic person, an unhealthy emotional person, they don't want you to have those connections. So you will be well armed to know that information, but what will you do with it? Putting it into practice means that those negative emotions will not be able to penetrate your emotional flexibility. You can just navigate one way or the other and find yourself totally free of their foolishness. When it comes to mental mobility, what will that mean? What will that do? Hmm, mental mobility. When you have mental flexibility, mental mobility, the ability to shift a course of thought or action according to the changing demands of a situation. When those situations pop up, you are able to navigate accordingly. When you find yourself in circumstances and situations that are challenging, you and your mental capability me and my mental capability can come under a great deal of pressure. What steps can you take? Flexibility can involve 
your perception of the situation. You begin to slow the situation down to a pace you can truly examine it from all sides and not get caught up in the anxiousness of a narcissist trying to catch you off guard, trying to get you to lose your balance. Your mental flexibility and the ability to manage yourself emotionally and mentally began to do a core, well, a core, how can I put this the way I really want to say it? Because what I'm looking at, I don't want to say it that way. Let's put it to you this way. They began to connect in a way that you not only understand who's in front of you, but you understand what you need to do to remove yourself from a difficult situation. Well, what does that mean? I'm actually trying to save something for another show, uh, but I'm not. When two people dance together, the rhythm is seen by all. When your mental flexibility, my mental flexibility, and our emotional flexibility is seen by all, people know that we have a certain rhythm when we are with others. The reference material that kind of highlights this, I'll again leave in the description. I'm not going to get into all of it right now, but it's juicy reading if you get a chance to take a look at the link. You began to see where not only do your emotions, but the very mental process of looking at another person in a situation changes. So please take a look at the reference material. I'll make it a point to make it available to you. And hopefully it'll be of uh, some encouragement to you when it comes to your mental flexibility. Those are two subjects that were sent in to us. And I repeat, we have not forgotten. And please forgive me. That was over two years ago. And thank you for being loyal subscribers and uh, members of the channel and uh, not leaving us because we didn't address those two subjects. Uh, I just wanted to touch on them. Uh, but when it comes to what we actually have to endure each and every day, it can be challenging. So um, make sure that you stay close to those who love you and support you and make sure that you get an opportunity to research what mental flexibility and emotional flexibility truly mean in your life. Um, I am not going to uh, hold you too much longer, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, of course, Marnie, for stopping by. Um, this video was made and we will make more specific videos to answer specific questions that you had. Um, we'll have a number of them for you before the year is up. Uh, some of them have been pre-made, and we won't release them until next year. Uh, so we have not forgot you, forgotten you. We will uh, do some of them live like this, but a lot of them uh, will be pre-made, and they will be released and put on uh, the channel for you. Uh, but for right now, we want you to know we didn't forget you. Uh, and we apologize to you for those that have uh, written in to us. Uh, we uh, wanted to make sure you know we do care uh, with the questions that you have and requesting a certain video or a number of videos from us. Uh, we're just in the process of making sure we make them for you. And uh, hey, I may have a video or two here before I get out of here. Let's see. I think I do. Or Am I going to engage in other strategies that give you long-term lasting effects? Mm -hmm. And the more we can broaden our coping skill abilities, the easier it is to regulate uh, our nervous mm -hmm. system. And yeah. that's what we want to do is regulate our nervous system. However, those help calm everything down, but it doesn't take the issues away. No, no, I think it's, I think it's good. That's a good question. And this is what it looks like. It, it looks like we're continuously growing together. That's beautiful. That's and what, beautiful. It's, yeah. So it, it's us continuing, because it don't always look like what you think it is. And, and sometimes I'm lifting her up. I don't know how much, yeah, I guess I'm going to put someone right there. Sometimes I'm lifting her up, and sometimes she's she's superwoman. She lifts she's superwoman. Her. I like that. So it's a, it's a combination of growth. It's 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 a very beautiful thing. 
thing is, I don't want to like overly like sugarcoat it because people will call me out and be like, that's not what it's what 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 it's like all the time. But it's it's just it's just amazing. I don't it, the thing is, I don't want to like overly like sugarcoat it because people will call me out and be like, that's not what it's what 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 it's like all the time. But for me, it's like a beautiful journey of growth. Like this, it, it's it, it's just an amazing thing. Like when you said that, I saw like green pasture, I saw forest, but I saw vegetation. I wow. saw oh, because we got married at 23. I'm 30 okay. now. That's almost a decade being with somebody. And yeah. Yeah. there's no other way to to encapsulate it other than man, that they say, how long does it take a tree to grow? It takes decades for a tree to grow as beautiful as, as it is. And that's how I, it's been with my wife. I've grown into this really big, massive power that that when these storms come are not going to be easily knocked over. To change the language to then self-empower, you may not be a genius. You may not be whatever societal standard hold. That's not to say that you're not. Language that we choose to talk about ourselves or to to ourselves, particularly when we're talking about body image issues or when we're talking about our accomplishment or our lack thereof, right? Or our failures or our learning moment is really, really important in how we're also teaching others to talk about us. When it comes to a person being emotionally unavailable, there are three aspects or three kinds of individuals who are emotionally unavailable. It's often difficult to spot whether someone is emotionally unavailable. You may feel dissatisfied without knowing why. There are three types of emotionally unavailable partners. Yeah, the court jester, as it were, the counselor, and the fixer. The jester, the counselor, and the fixer. Without attacking or adopting a demanding type of a stance, please make sure you communicate your needs and wants to that individual, even if they seem that they're not capable of actually understanding your heart and what you're trying to say. Never allow yourself to be in a situation where you, you don't express yourself. They can be charming and engaging and make you feel like they are committed to you. But as time goes by and the relationship begins to deepen, you may feel lonely and dissatisfied and unsure why those feelings have crept into your heart. They hardly share how they feel with you whenever you ask them how they are. It's almost as if they don't want to talk to you. They turn everything into a joke, especially when you show emotions or if the subject is uh, too difficult for them. When you bring up a disagreement or a misunderstanding or you need clarification or raise a potential conflict as it were, they may distance themselves, withdraw, counterattack even, rather than actually connecting and looking to resolve the conflict. These aspects of a person's personality shows, well, signals for sure that they're not looking to be available to you emotionally. When you talk about something intimate or express a deep feeling they do not give a personal response. 
they rather answer as if with a meme or a theory, a disconnected response emotionally is indeed clearly a red flag. They may try to make you feel guilty for wanting more emotional connection than they are willing to give you. When you share something with depth and understanding the breadth of who you are to them, they seem to check out. What's on television seems more important or at work is more important than what you're saying. If you find yourself in situations that they make jokes about how crazy and too sensitive you are, indeed, red flags should be flying heavily in front of you. That this person is not capable of emotionally and in a mature way giving you what you will need. A person who is a fixer seeks to make sure that there is never a problem instead of just listening. This is usually because they are afraid of their emotions and are keen to stay in control of their emotions and yours. Or think the responsibility lies upon them to ensure that others are constantly happy. It is beyond people-pleasing They want everything to be fixed. If they were or are in codependent relationship with their parents, they may feel on some level that you being upset means they have failed. Diagnosing them, fixing them, will leave you empty. It may be apparent that their abusive or overbearing parents had a major and may still have a major impact on them and your relationship with your partner. Try to express those concerns in a calm setting and in a calm way. Look for resolution and make it clear To them, that's your objective. Frustrating as it is, it's important to remember that the person that you're dealing with has spent most of their life interacting with people exactly the way they're interacting with you and may not see that there's an issue. But you not being heard and expressing yourself is not an option. This topic uh, that you want to discuss with them, again, is best addressed not by direct confrontation and overwhelming frustration and emotion, but by a slow and collaborative process, leaving the door open for them to grow toward the mature level that you're seeking in your conversation and relationship. A person who is a counselor Contrary to the common misconception, not all emotionally inaccessible or unavailable individuals come across as rational or aloof. Some appear warm, kind, and even generous, but yet still distant. Understanding what you're having to deal with, you'll be able to show your emotional flexibility and your mental flexibility and not be drawn in to their deficiencies. With your patience, you may be able to assist them, but you cannot change them. That is their choice. To improve, to make the relationship better, that is their choice, not yours. Your partner, your boss, your sibling, whoever it may be, may think of themselves as a mature, advanced person when what they do is natural. And that may be true, but not for you. 
discussing it may leave the room open for much progress if they choose it. If you tell them that something is upsetting you and their retort is to come at you with a high level of incomprehensible concepts and just they're dropping things that make no sense to you or self-help wisdom that sounds beautiful on pages and in a book that may not be what you're looking for. What you're looking for may be exactly a clear understanding in the moment of a situation, circumstance, so that your emotions, your emotions and your mindset can be free of a misunderstanding. So if they ever show you that side that your emotions don't matter, if you can calmly discuss it, but they hardly ever share their viewpoints or have a spontaneous reaction, you may be on two different steps of the ladder emotionally. In certain circumstances, it can be difficult to put your finger on what is happening because they seem so nice and the gifts can seem plenty. But emotionally, if you're not in a position to set your needs in front of them clearly and be addressed, you're going to have to choose how often you will continue to let them know what you're looking for. It is your choice to make it clear. And then it's your choice to understand who and what you're dealing with. Reflect on your patterns. Reflect on their patterns. What pattern are they showing you? What pattern are you displaying? It allows you to be able to take responsibility for your contribution in any dysfunctional dynamic, which sets a strong foundation for improving the relationship moving forward. The information that we shared with you today, hopefully it can be helpful in one way or the other. A lot of the points that we made come from some show notes we just kind of smashed them all together so that we can share them with you. Um, thank you to many of you. I'm going to make a video, by the way, thanking all of you um, over the years that have told us the different things you want us to make shows on and subjects. Uh, we'll get a chance to do that. Many of you know who you are. Uh, so we put a lot of the show notes together. Thank you for hanging out here with me today. Uh, we will continue to come back and share different aspects of information over the years that we've collected uh, in doing these uh, live podcast shows on Instagram and, and here on YouTube. Um, thank you for allowing us to hang out with you this Friday, virtually all day since 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're going to do more of this with you um, now that uh, we are moving toward 2025. We have a schedule and we are on track with our schedule. We're going to make sure to give you more of NATV radio. Uh, this show that you're listening to right now will get sliced and diced, and you'll find it uh, in many different pieces on Instagram, NATV radio on Instagram. Uh, you'll see it there is where you will see it at uh, NATV radio on Instagram. We will not necessarily see it. You will actually hear it over there. So NATV radio, though we're doing it right here most of the time, uh, you will find us on Instagram. So thank you very much for hanging out now. Um, you guys have just been awesome to us. We really appreciate it. I don't know which button I got here. It's this one right here. All right. So no matter uh, what kind of day you're having, what weekend you're expecting, no matter what's happening, thank you for uh, supporting us on NATV Network. Um, enjoy the upcoming shows. I have to put in some more shows I mentioned that earlier today on the previous two shows, uh, but uh, we're going to put uh, as many of the lives on uh, starting tonight and over the weekend. Uh, please make sure you support all of our guests 
And um, seriously, thank you for enjoying the show, getting some laughs, uh, hanging out with us. And as I said earlier today, we are just, my daughters and I are just getting started. We have so much more for you, but we really are not going to really, excuse me, we are not going to do a lot of what we're thinking until it's uh, 2025. I can't even speak anymore. I've been talking all day. Oh my goodness. Uh, So uh, next year, you're going to see a whole lot more. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say, guys. Oh, hey, you know what? Let's do this right here. I'm going to do this. That video is almost over. Let me do that. And uh, we're going to do that. Uh, you, you you have been awesome to us, but um, we're going to give you a whole lot more. Um, do me a huge favor, uh, everyone. Please make sure. I'm going to pull something up over here. Please make sure. Let me see if the video is going to end in a moment. and I get my camera back here. Uh, get that. There we go. Um, please make sure. The camera's up there. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, please make sure that you, three things, please keep it in mind. Uh, focus on your personal growth and your happiness this weekend. Um, from our show notes, I'm going to give you these uh, three points. So feel free to write them down. You, those that write stuff down and have a, a book and everything, you know who you are. Uh, your personal growth and happiness, one. Two, uh, let me turn this down here. Uh, give your own experiences to others and help them grow. And three, Share strategies and tips with others. I'm really having a hard time talking here. I have no idea why I'm having a hard time talking. Uh, personal growth and happiness. Give your own experiences to others. Start your own YouTube channel. Get on Instagram, whatever it may be. Share your experiences. Share your story. That's a common phrase. Um, we had a, a really great interview with... Um, a psychologist or psychiatrist, one of the two. And one of the points uh, one of the, from the show, uh, actually after the show was over with, we were talking and uh, uh, she said, make sure you give your experiences to others as a gift to them. So you're not the center of attention, but you're giving them that as a gift to fortify them on their journey of recovery. So I, I enjoyed that point. So I shared that one with you. Personal growth is very important and happiness. They actually go together. Uh, that came from a therapist. Uh, I, I believe it was uh, Dr. Robin Bryman that shared that with us about two years ago, thereabouts. Uh, personal growth and happiness. They both go together. Uh, so anytime something helps you grow, it will. It may not be in the moment you feel it, but there will be happiness at the end of that growth. Uh, again, give your own experiences to others as a gift. Let them unwrap it as they see fit, but not the way we see it. And uh, the third one, uh, share strategies and tips. Sometimes we're really quick to give tips, but uh, make sure you help people with strategies that they can navigate and uh, coordinate their life. Uh, We're going to do more shows in days like this. Uh, I'm going to do my mouth exercises and be ready for those kind of shows uh, where we spend about eight hours with you. Uh, We're getting close to eight hours uh, that we spent live with you today. No, I take that back. We're going to be about six hours. Okay. So um, we're going to spend more time with you and uh, sharing tips, show notes, other things, references, and other individuals who will be a part of NATV Radio, which is very different than NATV podcast and NATV live. And I could just keep going, but I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy some of the upcoming things we're going to do, uh, not just live events and private events, uh, but some other things, other footage that we have uh, from pre-recorded interviews and a number of other things that we just kind of put in our library and let the dust collect. And then we pull them out one at a time and share them with you, give them to you as it were. And we really appreciate each and every one of you making NATV what it is today. We started from zero. We started from zero. And all we want from you is to share the channel with others. Even if you don't subscribe, just share the channel with others, whether you find it funny, not whether you hate it or not, just share it with someone else uh, to either make their day or to give them something uh, to look at. The other thing that uh, we would really like is you just, you know what, 10 minutes a week. 10 minutes a week. If you can do 10 minutes a week. I like this song. Uh, 10 minutes a week. Great. If you do more than 10 minutes a week, 
then your head's going to explode. It really will. It's a lot hanging out with me for more than 10 minutes a week. It's a lot. Some of the people that come on the show and do show prep with me, trust me, they know. Uh, So 10 minutes a week, if you can, if you stay a little bit longer, make sure you have a notebook. Um, I just wanted to make sure to tell you some of these things right now because the picante will be picking up in 2025. You're going to see things are going to be a little different uh, because, like I said, we have a schedule for what we're doing and we're right on schedule. We're right on schedule to get these things exactly where they need to be uh, because we want you to have the best TV and radio YouTube experience possible when it comes to your mental health and a whole lot more. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, And yes, today should answer one, two, three, four, seven, seven or eight people who said, Paxton, you don't come on anymore and just talk to us like you did on Instagram. So I will do that more often. It's just that I have such great guests. There's no point for me talking and coming on like I used to on Instagram. Uh, So um, I'm going to spend more time doing that as you have requested. Uh, And you know what happens when I do that. I just ramble. And I get like a dad and just start talking and saying stuff as if everybody's, you know, going to listen to me. So um, thank you for hanging out. Personal growth and happiness. Number one. Two, give your experience to someone else as a gift. and Let them do whatever they want to do with it. Okay. Three, share strategies and tips. Okay. Show notes. And I stuck the other show notes in between all the other stuff that I was giving you there. So I'm here for you. Write me. Many of you know that. Some of you get into my, have a private thing to reach me. So just look, people, don't do this alone. Don't do it alone. Come over to NATV Network. It's going to be good. I promise. I got you. I got you. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, people. Live radio podcast for you right here. You're going to get more of what you're seeing right now and a whole lot more what we used to do on Instagram. And uh, 2025 is going to be juicy. (laughs) Telling you. I'm telling you. You're going to want to come hang out. This is a TV channel. And you're going to love it. So things are optimized for you to watch it on television. Why? Come on. Bigger is always better. (laughs) I'm so weird. Never, ever give up. Whether it's cancer, whether it's you're getting older. Wrinkles? Oh, man. It's just a sign that you have lived a good life. Gray hair? Come on now. Come on now. Never give up. NATV Network, the home of pure positive recovery. Don't get it now. Get your weekend. Come on back. Come on back next week. We're going to have some more for you. Uh, the 27th, we have a show uh, posted for you, but there's going to be a lot of activity in between. Uh, I need everyone to make sure you go over to SZTV Network, SZTV, Suzy TV. Make sure you subscribe to her and check her out on Instagram as well. Same with the lady herself. One and only Mandy Morris therapist, Mandy Morris therapist, Mandy TV on YouTube. Make sure you uh, subscribe to her YouTube channel. And I'm going to toss this out to everybody. Please make sure that any of the guests that come on here, you support them. We truly appreciate it. You want to be a guest on NATV Network? You can become a member of the channel for $5.99 and we'll make you a podcast show once a month. Or 
You can reach out to us at Rhythm Entertainment Media Group at gmail.com. That's Rhythm Entertainment Media Group at gmail.com. Now, it's time for me to go. One more thing for you. Many of you have said, I don't say it enough. Well, a lot of things you tell me I don't say enough. But yeah, subscribe to the channel, whatever, cash app. All, we don't do a lot of things. That's true. This one thing I want to mention to you. If you have a question, we do have an email address to answer some of you. Uh, I just don't say it enough. It's NATV Podcast Network. NATV Podcast Network at gmail.com. NATV Podcast Network at gmail.com. And yes, send things into us, questions. Maybe you uh, want to be on the show and you want to use that uh, instead of the other one, uh, email address, whatever it may be. That is where you can give us suggestions for the show, uh, questions and things that we could answer. Uh, Mandy could answer. I could send it over to Susie. Susie could answer some stuff on her network. Uh, so it's available to you. And I apologize that we haven't mentioned a lot of things to you over the past couple of years while we've been here. Um, a lot of people just were able to reach us on Instagram. So anytime you come to NATV Radio and it says NATV Radio on it or going live, you're going to get this, the ramblings of me. So I told you I'm leaving. Didn't I, didn't I say that? Hey, you know what? I got another video. Oh, no, no, no. Nah. You guys go out there. Have a good have a good weekend. I don't know. I may pop in tomorrow. Yeah, I may pop in tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Write me. Now you don't have to write me. I'll do it anyhow. <sighs> All right. Never give up. Never surrender. Never give up. Don't get eliminated. Um, why am I still talking? Hashtag narc free. <laughs> Man. Why are you people still here? <laughs> okay. You keep you stay here long enough, I'm gonna put some videos up. I'm gonna do I'm gonna just the show the stream will stay open till like eight o'clock my time, eleven o'clock east east coast. I got stuff I could put on here. Drive you crazy. Stay emotionally flexible. Hey, well, hold on a second. Let's do something here. <laughs> so I taught my children how to dance. Just that's it right there. All right. This channel is done for the day. Get back into the lab. Crank out some more stuff for you. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Hey, so what's going on with you people? Good day, bad day, whatever it is. Remember. I don't know what to remember. Just remember, just remember something. Oh, man. You know, my daughters watch this back there and go like, why didn't you end the show like five hours ago? I don't know. Just like hanging out with you guys. You don't even have to say anything to me. I just want to be on here talking to you guys. So what movie are you going to see this weekend? What you guys going to do? Hmm? What you going to do? Don't answer that because I won't answer you back. All right. That's me back over there. Look, over there. Oh, no, other way. Over there. Over there. That's me. That's me over there. Right? You guys can remember this, aren't you? You know who I'm talking. I'm now. This is not for everybody. This is for the people who tell me I don't come on, <laughs> and that it's always about the guests. So, <gasps> what kind of song is that? You don't want that song. You don't like that song. I don't like that song. I want a different song. That's the same song. What is wrong with me? Hey, how about this one? <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys want something else? Okay, you hang out here long enough. Don't catch me on a Friday. I got stuff. I got tons of stuff. I 
got tons of videos. I got tons of stuff. Stuff. I can just put on YouTube. YouTube want me to put stuff up. Stuff. I got stuff. Yeah. Here we go. I got stuff for you, man. Here we go. What does it mean? Okay, here we go. What does it mean to have a flexible personality? What does it mean? Okay, here's a question. Oh, I got tons of questions people send in to us. Oodles and boodles of questions. So, randomly, just pick this one. What does it mean to have a flexible personality? Okay. <laughs> My circus music. All right. And I'm a dad. Can you actually imagine that? You know, I couldn't believe it. When I had children, I was like, you sure you want me to teach them how to be like me? Anyhow, frightening thought. They're better than I am, though. Uh, what does it mean to have a flexible personality? Show notes. Flexibility is a personality trait. That's as far as I got. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so let me let me Google it. And I will answer that for you. Let me Google it. And. Ta -da! What does it mean to have a flexible personality? My show notes said flexibility is a personality trait. Google says um, it describes the extent to which a person can cope with changes in circumstances. Our ability to cope with changes in circumstances. Why do I feel? What am I doing? I have no idea. So I'm just talking to you guys. Um, let's see here. <laughs> it's like turning in. It's as if you came into my house and this is what you would get. Just me goofing off with stuff. Um, and think about problems and task in creative ways. So the ability to have your personality be flexible, that it's not hindered by circumstances and changes in circumstances. Interesting. So now go forth and meet people like that. This trait comes into play when your stressors kick in and unexpected events occur, requiring that a person change their stance, outlook, and commitment. I'm just, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna watch this back because I know how goofy I am right now. So um, check it out. So here we go. Um, that music sounds like it's queued up just for me to leave because I know that song and that's what that means. It's time for me to go. How long have we been talking? Well, how long I've been talking? Fifty five minutes, man. Man, that's like torturing you guys. It's like when my children didn't do their homework and I had to talk to them. Note to parents, talk to your children for a very long time. It's very unlikely that they will ever try to do something like stupid. Don't don't ask me. I just threw that out there. All right. Time for me to go. I've been goofy long enough. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Remember, remember the guy with, remember the picture of the guy? Here we go. I'll put it back up. Remember this. Remember that. Never give up. Flex on any situation or challenge you have that seems like it will never end. Flex on that puppy. Show your emotional flexibility and your mental mobility. And I promise you, you're going to come back to NATV and go like, I like that idea. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like the idea. Personal growth equals happiness. Make sure you give your experiences to others and share strategies and tips with whoever may listen to you. Take care of yourself. I love each and every one of you. If nobody's told you today, and if they did, I'll say it again. Love you. NATV. P-A-X-T-O-N. Paxton out, baby. Later, people. Great day. <laughs>